Hey, welcome to a new episode of Rad City Berlin. Thanks so much for checking out today's episode. Here we're getting the bike 100% sorted. Getting here the 10 speed cassette, the chain, everything nice and sorted. Check out this clip as well too with the install. A little bit of a ride test afterwards to test out the cassette and the chain and the service and everything. So enjoy this clip. Stick around to the end. You won't want to miss it. We have a special reveal, not only what I'm wearing, but something behind me. So enjoy this clip. I'll see you guys back here at the end. Resurrection part two. I'm gonna go and uh, get this new inner tube installed from Urban Drive Style. See if this works better. Yeah, so we're back at nine bar. Things definitely got a hole in it. Okay, resurrection part two. Let's take this thing real quick down the street to the Yepley van. Oh, some guy's gonna go up here down the street get the uh, bike fix here from the Yepley guys have this new inner tube from Urban Drive style that, that they'll put in hope they get the bike then sorted 100% <clears throat> yeah getting this new inner tube and then as well um, get the Sunrace 10 speed cassette should be a nice uh, cassette upgrade for the RX so yeah, we're going to break down the street and it's not so far from my place. I'm putting them right now, 35. Up here right now, 31 PSI. Let's go right down the street, five minutes, two minutes. Drop it off at the Yepley guys and uh, drop it off at the Yepley team. Let them have a look at the bike. Put in the new inner tube and upgraded cassette. So that'll be fun. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys after this service. And we can check out the results. We can see how we can see how good or bad hopefully the tire is holding up. So one more time. Third time the charm. Let's let the Yapley guys take a look at the bike and uh, see what they come up with. Hopefully now we can get it 100% sorted. Then we start working on mods. Start thinking about mods and what, I mean, what we can do with it eventually in spring, summer. Get it really ready for the new season. So that'd be nice. Yeah, see you guys over at the Yepley van. Super. Yeah, that's Hi. a nice classy bike, huh? <laughs> you good? Good to see you. Yeah. Never ending story, so. Before I came here, uh. it was at 9 bar. Okay. But then last night it was like at 32, 34 bar. Oh, no, you said say 9 PSE. Sorry, 9 PSE, yeah, 9, yeah. 9 bar, 9 PSE, exactly. Okay. And then last night it was like at 34, 33 PSE. Okay. So, I simply I noticed that like yeah, it's simply I think the tire probably from 233 then has a hole in it I would imagine or a pinch in the tire I'm not sure a pinch in the tube I'm not sure but that was a positive so I was thinking that we'll take it out and just we can verify we can put in some air into the tire and see if it's really holding air otherwise I got the other um, inner tube you know I will pump pump it up I've and got then the new one here then leave them <laughs> and uh, then I will there. change the cassette <laughs> Then we will change the cassette and uh, yeah, and then we see what happens. Yeah. 
You want me to take off the battery because then it'll be lighter for you guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't need it. So that was going to now match the chain perfectly. Okay. Right. You <clears throat> just put it like at 32 is good. 32 is perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so actually this was not the original cassette? Yeah. That's the original one exactly. Uh, this is the original one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't fit like properly. Though. No, no. That does. I just wanted to get the nice upgraded so it's blacked out. Okay. Yeah, good. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to get like the blacked out chain. The black yeah, yeah, style cassette. That looks better. And then it's all done. And then it's all finished. The whole drive paint's done. Yeah, because from time to time, like the next time, like from some kilometers anywhere, you have to paint the cassette already. So. Yeah. But actually, now you have a spare cassette. Exactly. Exactly. No, 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 it's, it's, it's 
like it's have to be and actually like I'm checking it right now it's like I'm you see what I'm doing like I'm pulling out the tension but but the relier goes should we, should we take this off of here and see if we can turn without the ketter on a ketter yeah maybe we should try this wait uh, hey let's mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> you know, let's see what happens Sorry, here. Uh, like I will put off the so chain and try like without. Yeah, so and actually there's nothing yeah. happening. Okay, so the, the pack is fine. Yeah, you can see with a nice cassette. It's got a nice uh, larger 42 tooth first gear, same size 11 tooth inner gear, but the tenth gear is aluminum as opposed to steel. So nice beefy upgrade as you see, like it goes wider now than the serial number. The serial number is behind the first gear. So I like that, that it fills out the, it fills out the motor space there perfectly. So that's really nice. Downside, of course, they, um, downside is here, they admitted to it that they had unfortunately scratched up the frame some, but it's okay. We'll deal with that at some point. Maybe get some touch-up paint or something. I was looking at like a Mopar, Jeep, olive green, touch-up paint. Maybe that's good for the bike. Leave, leave a comment if you guys have any experience with touch of paint, what could possibly work. But yeah, so um, install went beautiful. Check out this ride here. We try to ride up and down a few hills to test out the 10 speed. And then we'll jump back over here for a nice little wrap up. Special reveal, Rad City special reveal. Show you guys here at the end of the video. You guys won't want to miss it, so watch the entire video through. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Enjoy your spring. Enjoy the riding season. I'll catch you guys at the end of the video for a special Rad City reveal. Mm -hmm. Some screws. Yeah. Because the problem is the metal of the bolts is yeah. really soft. Yeah. And the often you open it, close sure, it, exactly. open it, close yeah. it you, you, uh, you start to fuck them up. Yeah. And that's it. Maybe you can, you can Get some also, new ones. Like, maybe, I would say, like, order a chain, order some, some bolts from them, you know. Yeah. Also, like, the black one is original. Yeah. And then uh, it should be, like, safe. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I already found here, like, good, nice, anodized hex mm -hmm. screw here, hex bolt. Okay. That, 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 that I can also swap out easy myself. So, mm -hmm. easy. Thank okay. you very much, very much, Dragon. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great evening. Opa. Patrick, thank you again, sir. <laughs> Patrick, th thank you again, sir. Appreciate it very much. You have a good evening. Come good night, how was it? Thank you. Bye bye. Ciao. Nice you. Hey, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Ciao. Appreciate it. I'm in like 10th gear and this thing just flies along now. Uh, I definitely have gained some top end here. Gained some pickup with this sun rays here at cassette. Not bad. It took him three days to get the service done. Multiple texts they said. Three days. They even had to get the uh, big boss out from Hamburg to come out and take a look at the bike. So uh, definitely recommend the Heavily service. They seem, I think they have well earned their redemption here in Rad City. They think that it's too easy to go too fast now. And <laughs> with this new cassette, it's awesome. I can highly recommend that. But if you do get the cassette, 
you will need to get into a new chain. You do need a new chain. You need uh, two chains because it's extra long. It's longer than most bikes. So you need two chains. You don't need to use them all. You don't use the use of all of the second chain, um, but they will need it for some extension. Um, so if you want to get the Sun Race upgrade, I'll leave a link below. A nice little hill that we can test out right in front of us. Going up here um, towards Danziger. So that normally you would not want to tackle if you were not um, on a regular e-bike. I would just get winded on a regular e-bike. I was like on a regular bicycle. My regular van move this hill would have been treacherous. Let's see how it is now with the new 10 speed. But let's keep the camera on the 10 speed going up this hill. Let you guys see the nice 10 speed action. good effortless and notice that like the power is even better uh, than the Shimano it comes with normally a Shimano 10 speed Shimano Dior XT 10 speed stock and now with the sun race there's a few differences the highest gear went from like 36 now to 42 and then like the the shimano is all steel and then even the 10th gear is steel whereas the the sun race that i have on here now is aluminum right the 10th gear is aluminum so um <clears throat> Should give you some interesting advantages weight saving speed they're both intense gear let's see on this one is any different it's like ninth gear eighth yeah eighth gear perfect no problem Film. I go back to the brown wall. Okay. Yeah, nice. Hope you guys enjoyed that clip of the install of the new rear tire and the cassette here on the Super 73 as well too with the KMC chain. I'll leave the links to the cassette and the chain in the video below. But thanks for sticking around to the end, checking out the end of the video. Like I said, if you stick around to the end, I got a special reveal. If you guys noticed, I got a dope Red City hoodie on. Really nice custom made first edition i don't know if i'll make more but if you guys like them drop a comment below um but here it is if you guys want to see real quick before we end today's video we have the dope blur bar handlebars we have as well too the sticker from visual impact showing you guys all the install process here in the next video so i want to give you guys a nice little teaser for next week's video um that's right the bike is done 100 sorted we can now start thinking about mods getting this thing upgraded have a ton of things to do wing lights I have some reflector tape to do. Uh, we have more mods to do. I have more custom decals. This is just a start. Very nice. Leave a comment if you guys like the if you guys like the mid-rise tractor handlebar. It's nice so far from riding the few times that I have since I've gotten the bike. It's been beautiful. So look for this in future. Look for this in the next video with the whole uh, customization and getting the whole blur boundaries bike all set up. Um, it'll be a fun video. Quick teaser for you guys. So like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video. 
Let me know what you guys thought of the handlebars, just the, the front decal, the cassette, the chain. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video. Fun day today. So like, share, and subscribe. See you guys again real soon. Thanks again for watching. Peace. So, uh, you know, for me, it's more important to get the, um, get the whole drive chain set up for me. And then aesthetics, right? Get it to how I want it to perform. And then I can start working on the visual appearance. That's pretty cool. Charles Manson, y'all. Can we go around here real quick? Let's see. We'll have to come back one day and uh, do some exploring here for sure. Maybe not today, but we will. Let's get a let's get a photo real quick of the bike here. As it is.